This is a GCE L-Level Pure Physics Revision Series. In this video, we are going to discuss important physics definitions that you must know before you take your exam. There are two chapters to discuss. The chapters are Chapter 12 General Properties of Waves Chapter 13 Light This video is brought to you by Ace with Dennis. Now, learning can be smart, not hard. Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell notification button to stop missing out important updates from us. Also, check out the description area to sign up to our signature course, GCE L Level Pure Physics Full Course, at unbelievable price. It's one time payment. You can study anytime you like, anywhere at your convenience. You can also easily monitor and track your study with Udemy's system. There is no recurring monthly tuition fees. No expensive intensive revision workshops. You don't have to rush to any tuition centers. You don't have to worry on missing any lessons. Sign up our signature online course at description area now. Without further ado, let's get started now. Chapter 12. General Properties of Waves Transverse Waves Transverse waves are waves with vibrations perpendicular to the direction of travel of the waves. Longitudinal waves. Longitudinal waves are waves with vibrations parallel to the direction of travel of the waves. General properties of waves. A wave transfers energy through vibration without transferring matter. A waveform is repeated at regular intervals. All points on a wave that are in phase have the same displacement and move in the same direction. A wave front is an imaginary line connecting all the points of a wave that are in the same phase. The amplitude, A, of a wave is the maximum displacement from rest position. The SI unit for amplitude is meter, M. The wavelength, lambda, of a wave is the distance between any two consecutive points that are in phase. The SI unit for wavelength is meter, M. The period, T, of a wave is the amount of time taken for the wave to complete one full cycle. The SI unit for period is second. The frequency, F of a wave is the number of cycles completed per one second. The SI unit for frequency is Hertz. The frequency formula is F equals 1 over T. The speed, V, of a wave is the distance traveled by the wave per unit time. It can be calculated by the product of the frequency and wavelength. Hence V equals F lambda. SI unit of speed is meter per second. Chapter 13. Light. Laws of reflection. The first law of reflection states that the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal all lie in the same plane. The second law of reflection states that the angle of incidence, I is equal to the angle of reflection, R. Laws of Refraction The first law of refraction states that the incident ray, the refracted ray and the normal all lie in the same plane. The second law of refraction states that for two particular media, the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence, I, to the sine of the angle of refraction, R, is equal to a constant. Hence, sine I, over sine R, equals a constant. Refractive Index the refractive index, N, of a medium is the ratio of the speed of light in vacuum, C, to the speed of light in the medium, V. When light passes from a vacuum into a given medium, the constant sin EI, over sin R, is also equal to the refractive index, N, of the medium. Hence the formula of refractive index is, N, equals C, over V, equals sin I, over sin R. Principle of Reversibility the principle of reversibility states that a ray of light will take the same path if its direction of travel is inversed. Critical angle. Critical angle, C is the angle of incidence in the optically denser medium for which the angle of refraction in the less denser medium is 90 degrees. The relationship between critical angle, C of a medium and its refractive index, N, can be expressed in the following equation. 
n equals 1 over sine c. Total internal reflection. Total internal reflection occurs when the angle of incidence in the optically denser medium is greater than the critical angle c. It only occurs when the light ray travels from an optically denser medium to a less dense medium. Thin lenses. Optical center c of a lens is located in its geometric center. A light ray will not be refracted when it passes through optical center. Principal axis of a lens is aligned perpendicular to the lens and passes through the optical center C of the lens. Focal point F of a lens is a point on the principal axis at which all rays parallel to the principal axis will converge after refraction. Focal length F of a lens is the distance between the optical center C and the focal point. A focal plane of a lens is the plane perpendicular to the principal axis and passes through the focal point F. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Do you have any thoughts, opinion or experience want to share? Write it down in the comment area. We'd love to hear from you. Also, do you like this video? Don't forget to like and share it to your friends. Until then, see you in the next video. Have a great day ahead.